what up what up we feel what it do welcome back to the we feel y'all welcome to you welcome to september 25th 2023 and uh thank you so much for being here and spending some time some nows with me i appreciate you i appreciate each and every one of you yay it's magnificent monday and I am giving myself a dose of good energy because I really feel like I could go back to sleep, but we're not because we're up and we're going to do our messages and then we're going to get to work like twit. Yes. So <laughs> that's where we're at this rising. How are you, Wheat? I hope that you are wonderful with your whole wonderful wheat self. If you knew, hey, hey, come on in here to the wheat field. I know I'm a little bit kooky. Don't click off. Stay. Stay with me. Yes, it's a tarot show. We're going to do a reading. We are. Um, but we got to get going in 107 on phone. We are going to introduce ourselves to you. My name is La, La T, and I am a channeled messenger, and I message with the big three. Yes, the Alpha Omega, the infinite intelligence, the word, aka wisdom, the principal thing, and the breath of life. That's telling me to slow down in this piece. I'm telling you, the wisdom, it moves on the breath, and it calls existence to exist. Creation. Everything that the Alpha and Omega called and decreed to be. We are. We are whole. We are complete. There's nothing broken. And there's nothing missing. And that's pretty much it. We are not religious. We're not. We're spiritual. We do everything in the spirit. Everything in the spirit. Uh, and we bring messages from the spirit. It acts like the Alpha and Omega come through. And while well, they're already here, you know, we're a pixel, a piece of it. And our vessel is surrendered onto them to for, be used in however, which way they see fit. So, um, yeah. In short, that's it. We read creation, you know, and we're differently different. We are. It's not going to be like too many other tarot shows you ever sit in. Um, maybe similar, but it's not the same. Absolutely not. We are very unique, and we have our own cosmic spot. So, without further ado, we're going to pray a little bit. Thank you so much to Alpha and Omega for being here. Thank you so much for this day. I felt like a big old hug. Yes. Uh, we offer everything up to you. We ask for entrance into the holiest of holies, into the inner sanctuary. Well, we service you. Yes. Our vessel is surrendered onto you for use, for you to perform your work through. We thank you so much for choosing us, for the calling and for us hearing and answering you. We thank you so much for the decree that you have given on to us and every spiritual tool that is required to fulfill it. For where there is an inheritance that accompanies that calling. And if we've answered it for, it's something else that you want me to say. <laughs> Call to perform a work on to the Most High God. Call to perform a work onto the Most High God. Yes. Yes. And it has been decreed and ordained. And I have every spiritual tool that we need in order to perform the work to go forward. It shall not return in vain. It shall not. But it shall perform everything which you have sent. Everything that has been called over this experience. Yes. And I feel it coming in nigh. It is happening. I feel bubbling. I feel energy. I feel... What is it happening? Is it resonance? Is it frequency? Stirring. Yeah, it's stirring. It's bubbling. Yes, I hear bubbling. Thank you. Brighten my light. I ask for protection. I ask you to keep me safe in your inner sanctuary. And I ask you to brighten my light, brighten up my lumens, increase my energy. Allow me to transmute that which I have taken on in order to give me energy and propel. I feel it. Yes, having that energy, like that ball of energy that can be molded 
and we can use that power in order to lift ourselves up. I ask that anything that is contained in me, that any and all things to be given up onto you. For you to receive it all. Place your hedge around me. Make my life so bright that it is a hedge around me. And that anything that would be coming towards me is automatically deflected up onto you. It cannot penetrate my shield of light. For my resonance is specific. It is tuned to you. And having all things offered onto you, I ask to receive back what I need in order to be strengthened, to be edified in the spirit, so that I may bear the yoke that you have placed upon me. I ask that you give me the measure in such a way that I overflow, and that I overflow and I spread that out to your week. Yes. I know, I heard yo. <laughs> spread it out to the week yo like what up and then y'all be edified too and then you ed you overflow and we meet in the middle with unity and harmony over the principles that the most high god will bring yes we scribe we get downloads in real time we do we say what is written and we say what they say they tell us so we are surrendered yes we are surrendered and we ask if we are in a binding Yes. Are we ready to go? Yes. Is there anything you want to say right now? No. You want to play cards? Yes. I say, I say, I say, I say, I say. Let's get it. Let's get it, my week. Let's get it. Hey, get it, my week. Let's get it. Hey, get it, my week. Let's get it. Oh, get it, my week. Let's get it. Oh, hey. Oh, what up, y'all? Sweet. What it do? We got some energy now. Can y'all feel it? I hope you do. Because we do. So we about to get. Who it the Alpha and the Omega called us? Woo! And we finna get it in. We gonna get a sip. We got some coffee. We gotta turn this camera down so y'all can see the table. What up, y'all's week? One more again. Welcome to the wheat field, y'all. Come on in. We finna get it. I'm excited. Coffee. We ain't did no extra extra today. We just put some coffee in a cup and some creamer I shake. We did drink some water. We still putting a Pedialyte in our water. Because you know our, elect our water these days don't got no electrolytes, no minerals, no nothing. And we've been feeling the need to add some electrolytes to our diet. Like we need some extra dose to put that in there. So the most I said, put some Pedialyte in the water. We've been doing it. It's good too. Mix it in with your spring water. And I add some mint. We growing mint in a pot. And so we growing our mint. And I'm so excited about the look. The look. When I'm telling you it's seeding itself and everything. And every time I see it seed itself. Now it's got all these little baby mint leaves. And extra mints that's coming up. Like little different words that sprouted up a whole nother section. I'm telling you. I feel growth. I feel abundance. I feel it's brewing. I feel it's percolating. That is coming on in. That is you know. It's breaking. You know, it's done broke the dirt. And now it's got little baby leaves on it. And in a minute, we're going to be able to pick some of them other ones off. Because we're we, we picking the bigger ones off. They get to full. And, you know, we pick them off and we put them in the water. We got our little vegetable spray, you know what I mean, to wash off the stuff from the environment. But I'm excited. Because it's the first mint of a uh, first thing that we're growing in our garden. Yeah. Now, it was uh, some onions out there. The little, you know how I got the chives and the little yellow, white onion on the bottom or whatever. You know what I'm talking about. The green onions, them. So, I uh, am restarting those too. Some of them is growing by the garage, which is kind of weird. I can't get them out though. They like stuck down in between the garage and the grass and it's underneath the garage, but some kind of way, but it's not in the garage. Don't ask me. I'm just saying. It's definitely different. We, I can't get it out. Can we have another sip, Alpha? Would you like a sip? I apologize. I apologize. We was talking and we got mindless. We didn't offer up that first sip. Oh, Mank, would you like a sip? No, thank you. Um, 
we have been in the habit of offering up our first and our last fruits to the most high. And uh, we see chakra alignment here. And uh, we forgot. We got mindless. We see third eye chakra here. We see throat chakra. You want to talk about throat? Crown chakra. You want that one? Affirmations of the crown chakra. Throat chakra is back too. So we see some oils um, for balancing the throat chakra. It is, well, eucalyptus is what I'm being called to. We have some eucalyptus spray somewhere. I think it's still packed in a box. We probably need to find it and get it out. Um, eucalyptus oil is uh, has a refreshing and stimulating soothing quality it has a sharp fresh minty hmm, um, and slightly crispy medicinal aroma research suggests that it spoke it supports respiratory health and reduces anxiety it has also been shown to promote physical and mental relaxation and to relieve pain which is good because your girl got a little bit of stiffness in these here shoulders. We do. Uh, why do we? Because we put our bed together. Yes. And we did it in the spirit. <laughs> it gave us all the help we needed to get through it. <laughs> but it's very, very cute. And I'm very excited. You know, your girl likes to do uh, interior design and decorating. It's one of the things that is close to my heart. It is a heart's desire. I have a couple of careers uh, that we're going to do. Like writing is one. Design is another. We love it. This right here, the service to what? Now, y'all know that's the bee's knees for your girl. <laughs> You're not like, oh, <laughs> travel everywhere and bring messages from the spirit based on whatever environment, the environment I'm in and just let it speak to me and I can speak of whatever I hear from it. I mean, like, that would be beautiful. That would be lovely. I hear, isn't she lovely? Isn't she wonderful? I don't know who's thinking what, but that's what I just heard. Affirmations for the crown chakra. I am a limitless spiritual being. I am connected to the divine source of wisdom and love. Now that is beautiful because you are a limitless being. We are limitless. You know, limitless spiritual being. Of course, we know our human vessel has some limitations. I can't, like, just go jump in the ocean like Ariel and take that deep swim without some sort of oxygen on. Because I'm not a fish. I'm just saying. Um, I am open to understanding my life purpose. Understanding my life purpose. Like... I feel school and learning. I'm definitely looking at the other, on the other side of this is my office, you know, and I see my bookshelf with tons of books. I got books on theology because I study. I have books on you being amazing because you are weak and you are a spiritual being and you are limitless and how do we learn more about our spirit, learning more about our heritage. You know, the vessel that I am is an African-American vessel, you know. And whether I was a Native American or I was actually come over from our... Whenever we decided to come out of the home country, Africa, uh, whether it was early expedition and I, therefore I have been in the Americas or I was brought here um, because of, you know, the global slave trade. Not just the transatlantic, but, you know... And there were other ones as well. So we got books on every, on pretty much everything. And then we just got some shit down there just to read because it's entertaining. You know what I'm saying? But one of them that I'm looking at right now is two. Is actually you already know how to be great in the power of now. Do you want to get them? Okay. Which one? Great. You want now? No. Give me your grace. Thank you so much. I appreciate you. Appreciate you. 
you already know how to be great. It says, I am open to understanding my life purpose. And to understand your life purpose, maybe a portion of it is realizing that you already know how to be great. You see this chess piece? I feel like it's strategy. We see the pawn, but back there I think that's the queen. Could be the king, but I feel like that's the queen. If I'm wrong, give me a grace. Leave me a comment. Let me know how I'm off with it. Let me know if it resonates. Like, comment, share, subscribe. If you want to come back on a daily and get this bell, hit the bell. Y'all know how I go. Anything in here yet? Nope. I'm just going. Anywho, we are all connected through love and divine energy. We are. We are 1555 on the phone when I said that. We, we are all connected through divine energy. The Most High God, the breath of life, the infinite intelligence connects us all. For we, are, we were called by the word, by the principal thing. And that word moved on the breath of life. I mean, if you call anything, you speak out. You are breathing while you're speaking. The Most High God spoke out. And as it spoke, that word and that breath went forward at the same time. And it caused everything to come to be. They, synch they come together. They go together forward and then everything starts to unfold. All of the happenings for life and, and creation to exist, to be, began to happen. And that's what I feel like the bubbling, like the magical happenings of creation, like almost like sparklies, like the magic that's going out. Almost like you could feel them sprinkling. Okay. Your girl just got a whole vision of the video, I believe, on, I think it's the Jacksons. Can you feel it? And I feel like they were sprinkling stardust or something like that, or something like that. Can you feel it? Can you feel it? Can you feel it? All the children in the world should be loving each other. Anyway. y'all see that? It says the organization with faith, fire, and focus. You cannot have a, an execution culture without robust dialogue. One that brings reality to the surface through openness, candor, and informality. Yes. It says, can I read that again? You cannot have an execution culture without robust dialogue, one that brings reality to the surface through openness, candor, and informality. So we definitely informal, we definitely use some candor, and we like to have robust dialogue. You know, it's conversational. It's real conversational. I mean, like, I don't have a lock on creation. Obviously not. I don't understand everything. Obviously not. I get what's given on to me, and I, uh, I believe. Yes, <laughs> I believe. I trust what's told on to me, and I speak about it. I do. Um, and it's all for us to have again that robust conversation. Leave me your comments. You know what I mean? If you if anything that I say resonates with you in such a way that it's like, oh, that's definitely different or let's talk more about it, leave me a comment. If you don't like it, leave me a comment. Be respectful though, because I'm respectful of everyone. So respect me too. Again, I'm not religious, I'm spiritual. So I look at everything, everything in creation. The Most High God called all things by its word. So all things is open for examination. It's up for us to learn, to see self. How does that work? What is it? I'm curious. I just want to know about it. And it's really nothing more than that. The organization with faith and fire and focus. 
An organization with faith has a clear, compelling sense of mission. Ooh, and we saw that. Understanding our divine purpose, our life purpose. I am open to understanding my life purpose. An organization with faith has a clear, compelling sense of mission and purpose that is effectively communicated to and passionately believed in by people on every level of the organization. And I just said I believe in my gift. I do. I do. I didn't see nothing been luck. <laughs> To not believe to what? Uh, no, I believe. Uh, it says, people have a strong we can belief and a firm conviction in the organization's resilience and ability to effectively learn and adapt in a changing environment. Learn and adapt in a changing environment. To believe in the resiliency so that you can learn and adapt in a changing environment. Also, an organization without faith is filled with fear, doubt, or a lack of clarity concerning its value proposition as well as the value of the organization's purpose and or its viability in changing circumstances. So you can either have belief that the organization is resilient in changing circumstances, changing circumstances. I hear adaptation and uh, belief and the ability to adapt and, and evolve or you're filled with fear feeling like um, you don't have any clarity it leads into doubt and, and um, what is the viability of that organization in changing circumstances do you want to leave this here okay where should you go where would you like to We see your own power was on the bottom. Embrace sensitivity. Embrace sensitivity. Excuse me, y'all. That might have been a little loud. 22:40 on the phone. Appreciating beauty requires sensitivity, a vulnerable feeling. Yet the world needs more sensitivity, not less. Embrace it. Do not deny your emotional needs. So somebody may be denying their emotional needs, or we're just being called to really hone in and pay attention to our emotional needs. And I've been working with the word life. It's been coming back to me in terms of an acronym. And in I keep seeing and hearing the words. So instead of it being life, it is light, intelligence, feeling, emotions. And with this right here, it just says, don't deny your emotional needs. It feels like that's a part of the purpose. Like to discover our higher purpose or have an understanding of our purpose, we must feel. Like I just heard another woman, um, woman of life. I've shared her videos to my community page a couple times. And in one of the videos that she mentioned, she did recently, she mentioned about feeling your emotions. Oftentimes we hear, you know, um, people say that we feel too much or you're too sensitive. And I think that that's kind of odd um, because we are here to feel, to, to be consciously aware of the plane, to use our senses. And emotion is one of our senses. And we talk about the five senses but we don't talk about you know the sense of emotion our intuitive sense we don't talk about our cosmic mind the fact that we are all connected still tethered to the most high God to creation we are whole we are complete it is how we can discern the plane in a similar way like if you know you know you know you these two don't see shit they pick up light data and we put the images together in our mind and in order for us to see things the same we must be connected by a cosmic mind something that helps us read the plane read this light in a similar fashion to discern it to uh, create 
take the images that we that that we call seeing, right? Because we really don't see with this. We see with our mind, you know. And actually, if you look at how they, the light comes in and how we formulate the pictures and, I mean, like, how we see color, it's quite amazing when you think about what your vessel is doing, like, all the time. And, and I'm not saying worship any specific thing. I don't talk about worshiping the body or science or any of that. What I'm saying is that we can see into the vessel in its amazingness and how it is designed the intelligence that's built in and if that light intelligence is feeling an emotion that is life then we are to honor our emotions they are a warning system i see return to the body here and balance when i am caught up in a stressful moment I can move my awareness to my body. Is my jaw clenched? My body tense? How is my posture? This helps me to see where I can relax and let go of tension. Now I can return to any situation more calm, more present. That helps us increase our faith too. Really, are we being fearful? Are we tense? Are we um, anxious? Helps us release. Release to let go of things. Today I release limiting beliefs, harmful thoughts, toxic patterns, and anything out of alignment. Anything out of alignment. I am ready for transformation and I welcome this shift. I am creating space for a new chapter. We talked about newness and things bubbling and growing, right? Filled with love, abundance, and amazing opportunities. That's what I said. I was feeling the opportunity of growth, of um, newness. Like um, you're starting to see it, not that just feel the energy of it, but you can also see it. You can discern it. It's present in your life in some sort of capacity. Inspiration board, what you have been putting on this board, you can see it. It's starting to come into fruition. If I am ever feeling down or bored I spend time creating a vision board to place it in my home I fill it with quotes pictures and desires that bring me inspiration and joy what is one of the things you already know how to be great you already know how to be great you were built great like you were designed you were designed by the infinite intelligence of the most high god its word is written in you and on you through you all over it's coded within you know how to be great you just might need to remember it understanding your divine purpose discovering your divine your divine purpose I am open to understanding my life purpose. Light, intelligence, feeling, emotion. On purpose. Anything else back in here? Food. It says, what I eat fuels me. It's been coming up, so we need to eat better. You know, I eat the best foods accessible to me. I infuse my food with love and gratitude before eating it. We talked about these both things. Drinking Pedialyte, because the Most High told me that we needed to have more electrolytes, more, you know, mm, in the water. Thank you. And I also talked about offering it up, the first and the last, to the Alpha and the Omega. Those first bites, those last bites. And I even invite them to eat with me. Like, uh, look, let's experience this coffee. We having a muffin. It's good. You want to bite? Ooh, you want to bite? No, not yet. Can we eat? Yes, let's eat it together. And then before we done, you know, the Omega. I mean, like, sometimes they pick which one they want. I mean, like, seriously. You be like, you want that bite? Mm -mm, I want that bite right there. All right, this bite gonna be for you. We ready to get that bite. Let's get it. I'm just saying. Your girl is a little differently different. We do everything in the spirit. I'm just saying. It says, visualizing the nutrients I am consuming and the love that went into growing and preparing this food. I, we talked about eucalyptus. We talked about mint, too. The ability to grow 
your own mint. And for all my people who grow gardens, you know what that's like to spend the time and the labor of love of pruning your garden, sowing the seeds and planting and growing it until it sprouts up to you can get the fruit off of it, to keep it up, to weed it, to do all of those things that it takes to have a healthy garden. I want one. I desire it. I do. To grow my own veggies. So I know that they good. You know, I don't know what these folks be doing with our stuff. We know for sure that it ain't shit in our water these days, yo. So that's why we got that Pedialyte. Because I'm going to you know, water my dreams. Pedialyte. Water your dreams. All I desire is on its way to me. It is. We feel it. We feel it. We see it. We did. But like a seed, we just talked about it, my dreams too must be watered. My belief and determination, belief, whatever you put on that vision board, and determination is what makes them grow. I will be patient throughout this journey. It is all unfolding at the perfect time. Be patient. Somebody might be feeling, again, that anxiety. You know, the fear, the doubt, having a, a lack of clarity of how you're going to make something happen. How is it going to come out? What is the stability of a situation? Because things are changing. And that's what we saw in there on uh, faith, fire, and focus right with faith it says that yes this organization is structure is resilient it can manage it can sustain the test of time um the changes in the environment it can sustain but fear says that i have doubt i lack clarity that um it makes me anxious i cannot see loving space is here something about time I hear changing times, and in this time, honor your emotions. Guidance system, I cannot, oh, thank you to the most high God. Guidance system, system, look at this. I see time and temperature, right, to gauge your emotion. And I never noticed that, that on this dial are emotions. And I don't know if that's blurry and you guys can't see it, but... It says, I love using my emotions as a guidance system. They show me how close or far away I am from what I want. When I am feeling joy in doing the things I love, I am in a state of allowing for my desires. I notice when I am feeling low vibrational thoughts and shift them to release resistance. And we saw release come up already. We saw um, release. Returns the body. Feel your emotions, recognize them, and then release it, right? Um, you get to choose how you align yourself. And that goes back to the message that the woman of life was bringing when she said, you know, we often get that term of you're being too sensitive. But the point is to embrace your sensitivity, not to just fly off the handle and choose to be, you know, whatever, but to recognize them, to say, I am feeling this way and to dig into that, to discover the why. Why are you feeling it? Are you feeling it because you are afraid? Because you are doubting a situation. Because you are lacking clarity. 3330 on the phone. Are you lacking clarity? Or do you need to seek clarity? Your emotions tell you about how you are experiencing um, your plane, your situation, your environment, the things that's going on around you. What is your experience? And how are you taking that in? How What effect is it having on your person and if you can recognize that stop and be sensitive to it uh, I feel it that sense right I feel it I recognize it I honor it and then now I'm gonna look at it I'm gonna discern why ask for revelation why if the revelation is that I'm afraid of something I'm worried about something I'm anxious about something I can apply an opposite measure to that emotion. So if I'm fearful, I can apply faith. Faith says that with the Most High God, I can do all things. I can sustain. I can just stand. I can be. 
If I'm anxious, I can expect something amazing to happen. If I'm worried, it says that I can remind myself that I'm worthy of it. It is a way of reframing that and calling in it, what it is that changing the, the situation around. Taking the power and holding the power of that emotion in your hand to transmute it, to change it, so that you can use it in a, such a way that it empowers you and it brings in your heart's desires. That is how one of the ways we overcome. That is one of the ways that we use negativity and low vibrational energy for our good, for our benefit. But in order to do it, we must first be sensitive to it, recognize it, and I hear acknowledge it. Vision, inspiration board, loving space. I cannot learn other people's lessons for them. They must get there themselves at their own time. I can simply hold a loving space for them as they go through their journey. Yes. And I hear change agent. So, y'all know it's like change uh, adapters and change agents. How do we adapt to change, right? Change is the only constant. It's something, it's the only thing that's happening all the time. Change is always happening. Always. So you know that there's something going on when a person is resistant to change. Because you've been changing your whole life. We should be very used to it. But, unfortunately, people get accustomed to holding on to the current situation, the present and releasing it and just going with the flow just the ability to go with the flow right pray pray often pause slow down come into alignment I see them chakras but change ages. There are early adapters. There are innovators, early adapters. There are resistors. And um, so it's like innovators, people who are pushing change. There are early adapters, people who see the change as being pushed and get on board with it. Like, yeah, that's it. I'm like want to be on the cutting edge with it. I may not have invented it or innovated it, but I agree with it. I see it. I see where you're going. I got that vision. And look. And I'm like, okay, I'm with it. The next one is like mid-range folks. They done seen the innovation. They seen the people that went ahead like, oh, they with it. It's working out good. And now you're like, oh, okay, I can get with it, right? And then there's ones that ain't going to never fucking change. They just resist it. They like, I will quit before I do that shit. You know what I mean? And one of the biggest things that I can remember is like when we started going from to a paperless society, right? Think about the fact that many offices and stuff like that clear your energy is here clear your energy strength and manifestation strength put this okay um you know how again going digital and going paperless was like what because people were so used to the tangible the feel of it printing out documents so that you could look at it and check it off or whatever and it was a lot of people that's like, I don't like it. I'm not with it. I look, I got to feel it. I got to touch it. I got to mark it. I got to print it. And it was some like me. I'm like, yeah, we should have been doing this. Like, why do we waste all this damn paper? You know how many trees we cut down to build, to, to make reams of paper? For what? For us to turn around and put the shit in the shredder? Makes no sense. But I do like my bills on paper. I do. That's it's something different. Because I don't like to have 17, 15, f fulfilling apps to pay bills. No. And I really only need the first bill because after that, I mean, like, but then I like to look at the, I don't know. Go with your girl. Everybody got their preferences. And that's just mine. That's the only thing I really do care for to get on paper is my billing. That's it. Anywho. Uh, direction. You want this one? Courage. 
courage and direction. Guidance system is clarified by direction. And we have embrace sensitivity clarified by courage. We have the vision board. We see loving space and strength. Anything else in here? No. Let go and perspective. Perspective. We see let go. Expect the unexpected. So people had to let go of the notion of printing stuff all the time or that you're going to get a digital or, uh, or accepting the fact that we were going digital, right? That everything was going to be held more so in electronic form. We're getting ready to shift again. Of course, of course, we've been shifting to electronic currency for a very long time. But people still freak out at the fact of no longer having cash. I mean, most people don't carry cash. I mean, some, many do, but a lot don't. They don't carry cash. They carry a debit card, which is an electronic form of currency. It is not paper. You swipe a card and the money is there. Most people have direct deposit. Like, they never touch cash anymore. Long gone are the days, well, not long gone, because some people still do this, that actually get a paper check in the mail or get a paper check passed out at their job where their boss is handing them the paper check and they're going to a check cashing place to have it cashed and then take the cash and put it in the bank or take the cash and get a money order in order to pay the bill or you know what I mean like we don't we just don't do that anymore for the most part, you know, there are resistors to change and people who still feel like I need to keep some money underneath the mattress and I would agree, you should keep cash. I need to be better at that because I don't keep cash. I just don't. But, um, yeah, you, so you can see in that analogy, in that example, how people can be in various different levels of change. You know, when they accept change or they, they innovate it or they accept it early or they have to wait and see what it's going to do before they decide if it's good for me, which way I'm going to go with it. And then it's just something that just ain't going to never be with it. 4157. What direction are you going to go? Guidance system helps us with that. Helps us with direction. Acknowledging our emotions, having that sensitivity, embracing that sensitivity, you know, appreciating beauty requires sensitivity, a vulnerable feeling. Like, change can make you feel very vulnerable, you know, yet the world needs more sensitivity, not less. Embrace it. Do not deny your emotional needs. Back to woman of life embrace your emotions see them feel them acknowledge them so that you can recognize what's going on with your person and attack the issue the source of the feeling what is it is it fear is it anxiety is it worry and then apply that countermeasure faith expectation of amazement you know what i mean or worthiness Build your vision board and see what it is and have courage, right? Have courage that you can get through it. That your organization, your vessel, you know, um, wherever you're at in terms of institution or just the world society itself can sustain, it will. Like, there's nothing new under the sun it's just not like everything is happening now every possibility is happening now and we will be okay we will get through it we can stand we can have courage and loving space everybody is not going to change at the same time they're just not 43 46 on the phone we're not going to change at the same pace there's going to be innovators and there's going to be early adapters and then there's going to be people who's going to analyze the situation and say, yeah, that's good. I'm going to go forward. And then there's going to be people who resist. They will not change. And if they won't, then you just hold the loving space for them and say, I can't learn their lessons for them. I just cannot. They must get there themselves at their own pace. You can simply hold space for them. I will hold love and space for you. Yeah. But they have to go through their own journey. Each of us. 
on our own journey. And that takes strength. That takes strength. Just because sometimes that means you have to walk away from them. It means that I cannot stay. I must go. Right? I must go on. I must continue forward on my journey. It means that we may diverge. You know, who knows? In due time, we may come back and converge and go forward. But right now, it's a diversion. I mean, I'm moving forward and on a different pathway. And you're kind of hanging back like, all right, I say. I mean, somebody already knows that they are great. Somebody knows. This one says, okay, you've got to level the aircraft via the altitude indicator and engage the triple axis autopilot. Descend at 500 feet per minute as displayed on the vertical indicator and lower the flaps to approach configuration. Okay, what do you see? The passenger might say, I see this big kind of wheel thing in front of me. Then the radio control replies, okay, take the wheel thing, pull it out slowly, turn it a bit to the left. The person in the radio control has to discover what's in the passenger's awareness and work through that. Otherwise, there's going to be a crash. Working through the performer's window is your biggest leverage as a coach. If you can even understand even a bit of how a person processes the world, then you can enter that world and then you can help. So if you are holding loving space for someone, the strength in this is the ability to see how they process information. How do they see the world? What is their purview? What is their worldview? What is your purview? What is your worldview for your for you working in self and moving through your own shadow work to understand how it is that you look at things. How do you process information? How do you think about it? You can help yourself. Um, you can coach yourself by understanding how you look at things. And I think embracing your sensitivity, how do you... What are you experiencing from an emotional standpoint? is going to help with that. Am I in the right way? Evil likes to send fear. It says have faith, but it went over the E a couple times. I hear evil doesn't want you to have faith. It wants you to be afraid. By paying attention to questions, such as the ones above, it's like a list of 12 questions, questioning yourself. By paying attention to the questions, even if the questions is about your guidance system, like um, how am I feeling? What am I feeling? What's triggering me to feel this way? What was the scenario that caused it? What is the expected outcome? Because we saw expected, unexpected. When you're afraid of something, it's because you have developed an expectation, false expectations appearing real, right? So that means you see or anticipate in a certain expectation and what is it and why and how did you come to that expectation? Ask yourself questions. By paying attention to these questions, astute managers and leaders can look through their performers window and help them better to improve their help them better and to improve wait look through their performers or employees window and better help them improve performance you can help yourself improve your performance by looking through your own window and asking yourself questions 
you know again why do I feel like this what is that emotion being sensitive to your emotions and allowing yourself to process them to understand how you process it become aware of it and then you can coach and manage yourself to help you improve your own personal performance all of that leading into the development the manifestation the calling and bringing in the expression of or execution of your life purpose because that's where we were life purpose all right 507 on the phone we about to get it about to get it about to get it Expect holy love. Holy love is here. Give these a shuffle for our mobility and freedom. It takes vulnerability um, and freedom to kind of think about your emotions because emotions make you feel vulnerable. And to be free of them, to free yourself of them, like your emotions are a warning system, a guidance system to tell you something's going on or whatever the case may be, how you are experiencing life, how you're processing it. But at the same time, to be free of them, to say that my emotions are not my thoughts because I get to choose what I think about how I feel, right? I can either say I I feel this nervousness and I feel the fear, but I get to think about it like, okay, I'm going to have faith and I'm going to calm down. I'm going to use the breath. Like I can think my way to solutioning and I can improve my, my, my performance through that practice. Yeah, take a step back. It helps you take a step back right to take a step back and once you take a step back and you think through it in that way then you can manage what you say 5138 you can manage what you say because what we say is what we manifest signs and reminders are here i mean you can think about you know when was the last time i had this feeling what was the outcome remind yourself is this a sign to tell me that I'm still working through this type of emotion, this principle that I am supposed to be practicing, this sense of change that's going on in my life? It's a learning experience, an experience, an uh, opportunity for you to learn. Friendship and union is here. Definitely an issue or concern with somebody changing and somebody not changing in this friendship, in this union. Hold loving space for this person. People don't change at the same rate. They just don't. And they, yeah, have compassion for them. They don't change at the same rate. And you will just hold loving space for them. But you can surrender to the truth. You know, that they have their own opportunity to go through their own process. And we see strength and guidance here. And definitely strength is being called out. You know, harmony and resolution is underneath that, you know. So don't try and force anything, you know. Don't try to push any person to change. They will do it in their own time, right? You just have to be, remain strong. And we see guidance system here, strength and guidance. Guidance system and strength. Pay attention to your own emotions and what direction you are being called to go in. Be not afraid. Be of good courage. Be of good courage. Okay. Anything else? Nope. We are done. We are done. Done, done, done. This one's done. 5348 on the phone. I love y'all so much. I love you. I love you. I love you. Thank you so much for joining us for another episode here on the Tears and Wheat to Road show. Where you show enough, never know what you're going to get. Life is like a box of chocolate. Go lit. But the one thing that is the same is change. Change is going to happen. We are going to evolve. We're going to grow. The environment, the plane is going to be different. It's going to keep on moving. 
don't stop like the hands of time, right? And to recognize that we are all going to change at our same pace. I'm saying pace, no. We're all going to change, but none of us at the same pace. We're not going to change at the same pace. Um, let it go. Let it go. Let it go that this person has to be where you're at. They're just not. And they may never get there. It could be a whole divergence. Yeah. Let it go. Don't be angry. Release the anger. We see insensitivity. Maybe that emotion that you're feeling is anger. Anger that they're not going with me. But it's a learning experience. You know, it is. And this person has to learn. They have to go through their own experience. And they will get there in time. Divine timing. Yeah. It's all about spiritual growth. When they are ready, they will get there. Each of us on our own journey. So no, you can't force them. You can't. You can have honest communication, you know. But you can't force a person to get there. And at the end of the day, expect the unexpected. This person could have an epiphany. They could have a spiritual experience that helps them get there. But it's going to come from them embracing their own sensitivity and dealing with their own emotions as to why whatever they feel is. Why is it like that? Why does it be? Yeah, that's what I got for thee. Loving you all like I love me because I love the Alpha and the Omega that called and decreed me. They gave me the word. The infinite intelligence is baked in. Yeah, the word lives and it breathes. It does. Um, the breath of life, the holy chi. <laughs> Again, moving it in tandem with that word. It causes existence, creation to be. It does. And we are connected. We, I to thee and thee to me. I love you guys. To the next now. This one's done. Ashe.